Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Base Database. In this module, I want to show you how you can start to create a database which covers HR issues. So first of all, I'm going to create a base database. It comes up with this wizard and I'm just going to create a new database and click next. And I want to open the database for editing. So I'll just click on finish. Now it wants me to save it. So I'm going to call it HR base. So I know which one it is. It's going in documents, save, and then it opens up a blank database ready for you to create your tables, queries, forms, and reports, etc. So what I want to do first off is create two tables, one for staff and one for courses and then link those two together. So create a table in design view is one option. Use the wizard or whichever whichever one you want to do. But I'm going to go for the top one, design view, which then opens up a table in design view, believe it or not, where you have to populate it with the fields that you want. So I'm starting off with staff ID and I want that to be a number field. So I'm just, these are all the different data types you've got there. So I've just typed N and it gives me a number field but you've got all these other ones you can select but for now on for this little example I'm just going to leave it on that so then I'm going to go for staff in fact let's go first name first name that's going to be just text surname text as well and I could put address and more tables in there, but I just want to keep it fairly simple. Um, staff ID, first name, surname. I need to put a primary key in this. And to put a primary key, you need to sort of right click in front of it, the one you want, and then click primary key and you get a little key symbol there. And then I'm just going to save this as TBL staff. TBL staff. And then click OK to that. And then just close that down for a second. And then you'll see it sitting down here. When you double click it, you can open it and it's ready for you to edit, put some information in there. So go for staff ID one, first name Steve, surname Saxton, number two, dressing tab each time, and Anne, tab, black, tab, just do three people, and then Paul, tab, grey, tab. So I'll close that off for now. When you close that off and then open it up again, you'll notice that you don't have to save data entry when you're inputting data into a database. Also, when you delete things, you uh, haven't got undo as well. So I'll just knock that off. I want to create a second table, which is going to be courses. So again, I'm going for table design. And now this wants to be course ID, which will be the primary key. Course ID and I have it on number as well and then course name is text level is um, a number one two or three level one two or three date um, of course that's going to be a date time field just pressing D for date and then I need to put a field in here that's going to allow me to link these, these two tables together. So staff ID, which has to be a number. It has to be the same data type as before. Course ID, I need to right click there and make that a primary key. That's a primary key. Click on save. Call this TBL courses. Like so. Click OK. And then close that one down and it sits with the other one. So now... I just go into courses and add a few courses. So course ID one, um, course name Excel, level one, date 21st of 11.23, staff ID. Now you can put lookups in there, but for now I haven't done that. Build that up later on, but I'm just going to put staff ID number one. Then I'm going to do two. Course two will have access which is Microsoft's database, level two, date 010123, and then staff ID two, and then one more, we'll do Word, 
level 1, 21, 08, 20, 23. Now you can see I've been a bit inconsistent with dates. I'm doing that on purpose. I need to fix that later on. But I'm going to get the same person to do this. So I'll go staff ID 1. So we've got one person doing two courses. We'll close that for now. Now what I need to do is I need to create a relationship between these two tables. So on the tools tab, you've got relationship and you get the relationship window popping up where you can then add the two tables. There's a the relationship. So we're going to add courses and staff. I'm adding the two tables and close this box down. Just bring this onto this main screen so you can see what I'm doing. And they come in a bit squashed, so I need to just make these a little bit bigger. You get a little arrow at the edge there, and you can, if you can grab the thing, make it a little bit bigger. And what you should see is the primary key field and um, the, the um, foreign field, as it's called. So staff ID from this staff table, the primary key, needs to link to the staff ID in courses, which is not a primary key, it's called a foreign key. That is the link. One member of staff can do many courses. So save that link close this down and then I can do a query and I'm going to do a query in um, using the design view so I'm doing it myself click on that and then you get the query grid coming up so again I'll just bring that onto this screen so you can see what it looks like so I'm going to make it full screen add both tables by double clicking on them and when I do that it picks up it remembers the, the link that we've just done that I've just done so you now can bring information from either table or both tables and when you run the query it should show you that information so if I double click on surname, first name and surname from that table and then course name level and then date from that table so when I run this query this is run you can see that it's got me down twice in the courses I'm doing. It's showing you the information there, like so. And then I'm saving the query, not as query one, as QRY, that's a qualifier. And then I call it staff courses, like that. And click OK to that. And then you've got your query working and you can just build up on that. Now, let's just pull these, close some of these windows down. So we've got that query there now sitting there. And if I open it up again, it just gives me that information. It's just coming up onto another screen. There you go. And you can add it there. So just to recap, then we created two tables, table of staff, linked it to courses. We've created one query where we can see what each person is doing in terms of courses. So as I build up this HR database, I also want to um, do like a, a holiday one, a sickness one table, link it all together, create a couple of forms and then have some reports where you can pull information off this database. But this is just part one of this series. So hopefully this has been of use and got you going into base database. Um, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for your time.